of basically, as you can see, kind of, not really, but you can kind of see. I'm gonna be showing you how to make slime updated. I've got a lot of stuff here to kind of see what I'm going towards. The one's not even there. But yeah, see what I'm going towards. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna make a slime and show you how to do it because obviously I got a couple things if you haven't watched the cloud cream making of yesterday. It was kind of a cloud cream, but it was kind of a fail as well. So yeah. Anyways, just put them there. Thank you. My dad came in. Anyways, so we're gonna make um that and see where it goes. I've got a lot of ingredients here. So yeah, let's go. So the things that I have are one bowl, a spatula, some paint, which is op optional, glue, a bit of soda, that lens solution, actuator of your choice, um, corn flour, I think, I don't know, and, and shaving cream. Okay, so I'm gonna put, so I'm gonna put everything to the side now because obviously I'm not gonna need all of this. Oh, and I've got glitter, I didn't say, but I've got glitter there as well. So, um, so I'm first going to get my glue and this is just so you can get from anywhere. I got mine from Wilco's and just pour that in to my bowl because glue goes really quickly when you make slime. So I've got my glue, there's nothing really to do. I've got about this much in my bowl. Then I'm going to put some paint in. So I'm looking for like the one that Sophie had yesterday. So she had like a really light blue. I need to get like an actual blue because this blue is meant to be blue but it's actually turning like a purple here but I don't mind because it's a really nice purple so I guess we're going for the lilac this is actually a really nice like lilac colour so I'm happy I've got this colour here so yeah I'm really liking this colour so far so I've got this colour scheme going on um, so I'm gonna now put um, my ingredients in. I'm gonna put some glitter in. Is this silver sparkly glitter? I'm just gonna put just a little bit. Maybe like I call this periwinkle. Is that like that's what peri periwinkle looks like? No, oh, but just to make it a little bit more thicker because I do like a little bit more thicker slimes. Um, and it just makes it a little bit more thicker, if you know what I mean. So I'm gonna give that a mix. That just makes it a little bit more thicker. And it could, if you put a lot in, like make it, um, ooh, that's nice. Make it like a matte color. Um, but I'm just looking for it to make the slime a little bit thicker, if you know what I mean. To brush this all down from my spatula. So it's made my slime a lot thicker, like the consistency. I'm just like really playing around with this slime, seeing what I can do with it, what the consistencies I'm looking for. And yeah, because I've been wanting to look for like a nice cut of that. And then I'm gonna put some shaving cream in. I'll show my shaving cream's a little bit melted, but I'm gonna just see where it goes. Okay, that's gonna definitely make it thinner, but oh no. I'm now going to put some, uh, like a pinch of, um, if I can get it out, no, okay. of bicarbonate soda. I'm going to put a little bit more than I'm meant to. There we go. I'm going to give that a mix, just because it's got more ingredients in. It smells really good now because I've put that um, shaving cream in. I need to get some more shaving cream actually. So yeah. And get my actuator out so I used a uh, bio true and it's 12 pounds from Superdrug 
and literally you can get these for cheaper for about six pounds um, and there's like two little mini travel bottles are like this big and the little travel bottles and they come two of them in a little bag but um it's so quite expensive it's like six pounds but like you might as well just get the big one because it'll last you longer and it's like clear and stuff and yeah and it came with it came up to here but you need about two squirts when you I always start with two squirts because it comes together right away. Um, I'm going to give you an overhead. This is what I do when I normally have make slime like I'll do like an overhead review and you don't see my face or anything. You're like, you're, obviously you can see my legs and my hair. Um, yeah, so I pop out two squirts in but because it's got more stuff in it's like going to take a little bit longer to activate but... I don't know, I feel like slime is like a thing that's like, really fun. Um thickening up. I might need some more um sometimes it might it won't be like the activator because even though this has like like sodium borate and stuff in, even it sometimes might not be the activator and it starts sticking away. Like this is sticking away already. But it might not be the activator, it might be because you put too many ingredients in or you might need to like put some more glue in and put some more like bicarbonate soda. You just really need to like mess around with the recipe um, until it starts to get right and stuff. Um, and then you'll get your like perfect slime. Alarm oh, workout. It's mainly because also the sides, the sides of the things are, see it's coming unsticking from the bowl. Like, Literally, if I made that gut like a gallon of this, I don't know how I'd cope. Or like a full up to here slime. I don't know how I would cope. If you over borax it, it'll still feel really nice. It just won't be stretchy. But even if you put a bit too much in this stuff, it'll look at that's perfect. And then, once you get all the stuff from the sides off, Everything is all good. And then, still keep your activator here because you're gonna need it. Um, this is still like really sticky because it's still wanting to stick to the bottle, obviously. But um, yeah, I've got all, most of that off. So this is not so sticky. So I'm gonna put some more activator in, and um, not too much. Then it makes it like. Um, I'm gonna make sure you can see this because yeah you can. Okay. Not too much that makes it like horrible, but this is super sticky right now, so I need to put some more activator in a lot. So what I like to do is just like smother the top in, give it like a poke, and give it a bit of a stretch, because right now this is super runny and stuff, and like not runny but like really stretchy but really sticky. Like Whenever I do um, ASMR to you guys on the slimes, I'm literally just like, oh my gosh. Whenever it's like a super nice stretchy slime. I'm gonna put one more square back for each one because it just needs a little bit more, I think. But I don't want it too much that it makes it not stretchy or anything. Okay, this seems good now. Yeah, buddy. Sorry if I end up like whispering. I like to talk to myself and I'm just like, yes, this bay slime. I just thought yesterday when we were making slime, we did explain how to make it, but the thing was, we were both dead excited to make it. We were just like, weren't really explaining of like, we were, we were like, oh my God, this is so much better than air work and stuff. Um, but like, you know, it is less dangerous than air work. Like it's so much easier. And it's more like a li liquid as well. And it's not, and you can see how much you've got left as well. I think BioTrue is like the best. It's the biggest bottle you can get for your contact lens solution. Oh, this is perfect. I'm just gonna get the rest of it off my hands. I'm gonna maybe add a little tiny bit of um, glitter, I think. You guys would love this slime, I can already tell. If I saw this, then you guys would like be crazy on the slime. Um, I think I'm gonna call it um, Periwinkle Slime, just because of the color. I can't really see because there's not much left. Like if I use that like, natural lighting, this is for natural lighting, ready? Ready? That's my natural lighting. I would be putting slime in the dark, even though it's still light out, I'll show you. Look, it's still light out, but my bedroom's super dark. I'll try to show you the actual colour in real life. 
that's the actual colour of it. So it's pretty peri periwinkle that's going to fall off my hand. Ooh, no, you're not. <laughs> so I think I might call it periwinkle fairy. It smells really good. <laughs> it smells like Ariana Grande, but yeah. Okay guys, so thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and in the comments um tell me if you if if I if, if this slime was on Etsy, um would you buy it? Because I was really I would be really interested and in how much do you think it would cost if it was like this size? How much do you think it would cost if it was this size? Um or a little bit bigger. It would probably be bigger. It would probably be about this uh, times another one of these on top of that big slime. So it would be this times another of those, like this size. So I think I would probably pay about four pounds for this plus shipping. But if it, you lived in like um, UK, then the shipping would only be like one pounds. But if it was in like um, America, then it would be probably about uh five pounds or ten pounds but i don't know um because like etsy sorts the shipping out so yeah also this i'm super soft for your hands because like it's got moisturizer and obviously like lotion in but it's super duper soft it's so clicky um and yeah i definitely recommend making this if you have the exact same things as me um if you used airwick for this um the ratio for squirt for like sprays would probably be about two sprays each time to make this slime but it depends because the um contact lens solution the texture is different then it makes it more like i don't know easier to make it whereas that one like i don't know so if 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 i had to choose out which one to make slime would be this one but as i said it is quite expensive um but if i didn't get this one then yes i would carry on using airwick but i definitely recommend this one um but yeah if you want if you do want a cheaper option the cheapest op option for an um, actuator is um these are the clumps of cornflower and finding but the cheapest option for activator if you really want to make slime that you're desperate is airwick because all together plus this would be two pounds all together um but 13 pounds for them two plus together so yes so definitely go to super Joe, buy this um but yeah it's really good it's really good yes i do recommend it very well um just make sure next time when you use corn flour don't make make sure you don't have clumps in because it does irritate you <laughs> It will melt over time, but like, hopefully this slime lasts forever. No, I'm joking. It will go like a little bit harder over time, but right now it's the super gorgeous periwinkle color. And I'm gonna think of names for it because I'm gonna post it on my Instagram, which I still haven't put on private, but I don't know. I'm still thinking about it. But yeah, bye guys.